Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels and to the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our top 10 favorite spots that you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Pensacola, Florida, then you are in luck. Today we're going to see and explore what makes Pensacola a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. Not your typical Florida retirement city full of senior parks and Buick centuries, Pensacola is a lively and sought after destination by people of all ages and backgrounds. The city of Pensacola has about 52,000 people and is known as the city of five flags due to all the countries that had ruled the area of land in the past. Located in northwestern Florida, right about here on a map. First settled in 1559, the area that turned into the Pensacola that we know today is known for its beautiful beaches, comfy accommodations, and great fishing. Full of great nightlife and attractions, this city on the Gulf is a great place to live or vacation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Pensacola a great place. Number 10. National Naval Aviation Museum Pensacola is big on naval history. The Naval Air Station in Pensacola is one of the oldest space of its kind in the country. Over 100 years old, the National Naval Aviation Museum showcases more than 100 historic aircrafts that have been restored to near original condition and displays the most Blue Angel memorabilia ever. Take a free guided tour to explore the museum and learn as much as you can. While you're there, you might even be able to watch the Blue Angels practicing. As if all of this wasn't enough, there's also an IMAX theater on site. This is a great addition to add to your itinerary. Number 9. Pensacola Lighthouse and Museum Do you like to exercise? Maybe have a stair stepper at home? Have you ever recently thought to yourself, Self, I need to do more exercising. You'll love this lighthouse. You'll love it for other reasons too. Since being built in 1859, the Pensacola Lighthouse has been a beacon for mariners traveling the Gulf of Mexico. Today it's not only a lighthouse but a museum. During your visit, you'll learn about the region's maritime history and lose a few pounds after climbing to the top. Oh, there are also beautiful views once you get to the top, so it's definitely worth it. Number 8. Veterans Memorial Park we should all give more thanks and honor to those who fought for our country. And that's what visiting the Veterans Memorial Park will help you do. It honors those who sacrificed their lives for their country. The wall there is an exact half scale of the Vietnam War Memorial in Washington, DC. Since 1992, it has been a beloved park in Pensacola to remember and give thanks to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Number 7. Fort Barangas Spoiler alert, this is the first of two forts on this list, but it's okay, because they're both awesome destinations. I just wanted to give you a heads up. First we're going to talk about Fort Barangas. Built in 1840, this fort played a crucial role in defending the coastline during the Civil War. They have a visitor center located on site to learn about the complete history, or you can explore the fort yourself. There are rangers there who give tours too. Aside from the history and exploration, you can also hike the site and relax in a picnic area. The ability to see these old places and stand where such important history happened is incredible. Number six, Bay Bluffs Park. Bay Bluffs Park has a walking route just under a mile, but what a mile it is. The boardwalk has a ton of stairs, slopes, and twists, but leads you through beautiful forests of live oaks and it leads to the beach. Bay Bluffs itself is a 42 acre scenic preserve that receives a lot of attention and funding from the city of Pensacola. Open year round, it is a favorite for locals and visitors to see the beautiful scenery and beaches. When you think of Florida, you don't usually picture hilly terrain, but Bay Bluffs Park will have you rethinking that. Number 5. Big Lagoon State Park 
Okay, so the Big Lagoon State Park is located right outside of Pensacola, but boy is it worthy to be on the list. If you are looking for things to do outdoors, on the beach, camping, or exploring nature on the Gulf Coast, this is the place to do it. With 712 acres, the Big Lagoon State Park has plenty of options for swimming the beautiful Gulf waters, fishing, and beaches complete with boardwalks and nature trails. The Big Lagoon State Park is a great alternative for lodging and can accommodate RVs. Just be careful when walking around because this is Florida and there are things like alligators in the swamp waters. Number four. Five Flags Speedway. What's more exciting and celebrated on the Gulf Coast than a good old NASCAR race? Do you like to see fast cars, crashes, smell burning rubber? Since opening in 1953, Five Flags Speedway has held racing from March to October, with the main NASCAR event being held in December. This track is considered by many to be one of the best short tracks in the entire country. If you're visiting, it would be worth buying an individual ticket. But season passes are available for all the events if you're relocating or living in the area. This is a great option to attend if you're into racing and don't want to make the long trip to other tracks in the southeast. Number 3. Fort Pickens It's not every day you get to walk around and see an authentic fort in person. Fort Pickens is a pentagon-shaped fortress that dates back to the mid-1800s, so you can learn while you're exploring. The fort offers a 15-minute ranger-guided tour that will tell you all about the connection to America's history and the Civil War. You'll get a chance to see the cannons overlooking the Gulf and might even see them being fired. Don't forget to leave your high heels at home as there is a lot of walking and stair climbing to explore all the grounds. Number 2. Pensacola Museum of Art Almost every medium or large sized city has a museum to preserve and demonstrate local history. Pensacola is no exception. Housed in the city's old jailhouse, you will find well-preserved examples of Spanish Revival architecture. It also displays a collection of contemporary art and pieces from local and regional artists. A lot of it is Florida themed. It's also located on the campus of the University of West Florida and is a neat destination to visit and learn more about the history of the region. Number 1. Pensacola Beach The crown jewel of Pensacola. What everyone goes there for, the Pensacola Beach is known for its white sand, beautiful emerald water, and miles and miles of scenic driving. The beaches there are busy during the summer, but there are spots that are very private and laid back, providing an experience to escape the city and enjoy the water. The beach has numerous hotels, rental houses, restaurants, and shops for you to enjoy while you're there. You can also rent boats, jet skis, or just sit on the beach and do absolutely nothing at all. Pensacola Beach is also a popular spot for family portraits, weddings, and special events. This is hands down one of the best places ever to enjoy the Gulf of Mexico. Alright everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything? Comment below on what your favorite thing is about Pensacola. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.